Hi folks and welcome to this week's discussion topic which is all about choosing an agent to represent you and it not being a popularity contest but a skills contest. The reason this is an important topic is that it is quite common that sellers just go with an agent because they get a good feeling, they think they sounded nice and just thought they'll give them a crack. And guys, it is too big a responsibility and too big a job, and you need to take it a lot more seriously than just, well, I like that agent. You see, skills are not related to age, sex, race, personality type, nothing to do with that. It is, however, related to things like longevity in the industry, the number of properties they might have sold uh, last month and even for the last 12 months, not what they've listed. Folks, it's very easy for an agent to list a property, but a little bit harder to get it sold. You see, some agents just tell sellers what they want to hear, and then they work on reducing the seller's price expectations over the course of the campaign, rather than negotiating the buyer's up in price, which is the real skill that you're trying to employ. You see, it's what an agent does not tell you that you need to be able to focus on. Perhaps they're not explaining the importance of negotiation and working the buyers up in price and in showing the proof of their negotiation skills by showing previous campaigns would have added value in that process and brought a buyer up to a level higher than what that market value was for that product. The agent perhaps is not showing you active buyers in their database and how they're negotiating and working with those buyers, interviewing the buyers, knowing what that situation is and, and what else properties they've looked at or what prices they've gone to. You need to look deeper than just an agent's database with a buyer's name and a phone number, which is what a very large proportion of agents' databases are. They don't actually know their client, they just know a name and a number about them. You need to make sure the agent is showing you examples of their ads and their videos and the depth of detail they invest into the marketing and promotion of the current client's homes. Agents not talking about that and breezing over that are not gonna want you to see that the agent doesn't actually know that product and isn't promoting it effectively, maybe isn't even doing walkthrough videos um, which act as a, a 24 hour salesperson for you. Perhaps the agent is not talking to you about how the, the buyer's solicitor can be referred to them. It's what we do, so helping buyers out. The agent should be explaining things like that to you of how they make it easy for the buyers to view the property, make it easy to get information like the contracts and building reports, give them quotes and if the agent's not talking about that. It's what they're not saying that you have to be very careful of. So folks, the learning here is that skills are all about the importance of selecting the right agent and don't just go with someone because they look nice and you know give you nice comments about your home. Look deeper and perhaps look at what they're not telling you and find out a little bit more. I hope you have a great one. Hope this helps. See you next week.